Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody, or good afternoon. And to some people, good evening. Uh, this is Pastor Jay, and like always, we're going to start off in normal fashion. And the normal fashion is this with a scripture and a prayer. And we're coming out of Psalms 31 and 24. And it says, be strong and take heart, all of you who hope in the Lord. If you hope in the Lord, that means you trust the Lord. That means you give your all to the Lord. That means you should be strong in your weak periods of time that you should be able to understand that you're not going to win every battle but with god you'll win the war you have to trust god with your all despite of how it looks despite of how your situation might seem you have to trust god so i'm just telling you today make sure that you trust god and put your hope and be strong with your faith with god amen Dear Father God, we just ask you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, God, we just ask you to be in the room today. Let something be said that could be able to touch somebody that is listening. God, let us be able to reach the unreachable, teach the unteachable, and be able to even touch the person with the hardest heart so they can say, what can I do to be saved? God, we ask you to be able to put us out to new broadcasters, new networks, to new listeners, to, to, to enlarging our territory, God. So God, we just ask you all of this. Bless every listener under the sound of my voice that they could be able to hear you, start a relationship with you, and to be able to know more about you. Break every chain, break every type of doubt, every type of depression, every type of thing that's coming against them. God, we just ask you to just be able to touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet so that they can be whole again, God. So God, we just thank you. We glorify you. We praise you. We give you all the glory and all the praise in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 This is Pastor Jay. And like always, I got something to say. You can follow me at Anointed Jaylon on all social media platforms. You can follow me me on the facebook on the twitter on the um what is it clubhouse you know them clubhouse streets um and all of those different platforms and if you wanted to get any of my music you could be able to follow my music on all digital media streaming platforms where you could get music where you could get jesus you make me happy renew my praise my team rep jesus um slip away all that stuff and new music coming soon as well so and before i bring up all of my co-hosts that are in presence make sure you follow some of the co-hosts that are in absence the first one i would say is boss barbie las vegas's sport announcer from anointed radio if you want to get any type of updates make sure you go follow boss barbie on all of her social media platforms as boss underscore b-a-r-b-e-e -E on twitter for all the latest sports updates for the las vegas raiders las vegas lights the aviators the um, las vegas aces and um soon to be the las vegas athletics and the las vegas raiders so make sure that you follow her on all those streaming platforms so you can be able to see how we represent in sports with our number one sports analyst boss barbie another person is everybody's favorite auntie dr marvinetta clay you could be able to follow her at clay marvinetta dr marvinetta clay.com or worship forever which is her product line where she makes tumblers shirts anything that you need she could do it check out dr marvinetta clay the one i call the love child if you put marvin and you put edda together it makes marvinetta dr marvinetta clay so make sure you go follow her on all of her streaming platforms another person in absence is ben jammin you can go and follow Benzel Washington 93 shout out for the 90 babies where he has a podcast with his wife put the kids to sleep he is in absence today but make sure you go follow him on all social media platforms and with that being said i think i got everybody that's in absence i'm gonna go ahead and bring prophetess up and bring miss Brittany. where can they find you guys hello i am prophetess tish you can find me on instagram at fervently.creations you also find me on facebook and as well as clubhouse as tish share you can also go to my website, www.ferventlycreations.com, where you can also uh, purchase um, my upcoming book, as well as the book that I was just in that made bestseller international and uh, international and bestseller, uh, mostly international. So thank you. 
What's up, everybody? You can find me on Instagram at I am Brittany Marley. And you can also find me on Testimony Tuesday with Brittany and Kelly dot blogspot dot com, where we shoot um, testimonies. We have guests come on to share their testimonies. And we are actually going into season three starting Monday. So be sure to check us out. Hey, man, make sure you go follow their social media. Thank you. Y- y- y'all doing big things. Make sure y'all go follow them because they're doing big things out there in these in these social media and live streets out here because it's it's a digital, um, I would say a digital imprint of their legacies that they're doing and they're doing great things. So make sure you go follow them. And one thing I would definitely say is make sure you share, like, and subscribe to Anointed Radio. If you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, push the like button. If you are on Facebook, make sure that you go ahead and like the page, tag the page, share the page, share it to a group, share it to share it to your mama, share it to your auntie, share it to everybody. Somebody is going to need to hear what is needed today. And what's needed today is something great. And with something great's about to come onto the show. So we're going to introduce our guests and I will let them tell about their greatness because i believe this is black excellence so everybody our guests mr henry and harry if uh and hey haith right okay you did it pastor <laughs> i did it <laughs> <laughs> yes, henry and haith hey johnson i said now nah, pastor gonna figure he gonna work it out because it sounds like faith and it just got an H. I had to sound it out. I was just getting it. I was trying to do it. I was like, I was about to say Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. I was like, hey, man. <laughs> Listen, I've been called yeah. worse in my life. I would yeah. survive. All is yeah. good. <laughs> hey, man. So where can everybody find you guys? Of course, they're going to find us on our website, which is lahostharandwigs.com. On Facebook, it's hair, Lahost Hair and Wigs. Instagram, same thing. We try to be consistent across the board. You just punch in La Host, Hair and Wigs, whatever platform you're on, and we should pop up. Our YouTube channel is really the rock star, though. Um, we have a couple of videos that just went viral on there. It's an educational YouTube video about hair. So you definitely want to make sure you like, subscribe our YouTube. As well as we have an app. So you go to your Google store about that. or your Play Store. You can actually download La Host Hair and just Type in the host, you'll be able to find us with uh, just download us to get the app. All Simple. right, app. Okay, app. Yeah, right. We're on all media channels. Yeah. We're the app is, updated. You know what? Actually, the app is the rock star. The YouTube is the opening app. All right. <laughs> I feel it. So one thing that I, I, I definitely wanted to... Um, kind of let's get this out the way if you're watching right now make sure you download the anointed radio app since they talk about apps we got to talk about the apps D- download the anointed radio app right now for 24-hour gospel las vegas is number one gospel station 24-hour gospel uninterrupted and let's go ahead and pay some bills so we can get into this interview if you didn't know we have on September 23rd and 24th, we have the Christian Hip Hop Cypher coming here to Las Vegas, the first Christian event for the iHeart Radio Festival um, here in Las Vegas. So if you have not, make sure you go to Eventbrite, look up the Christian Hip Hop um, Cypher and um, Streaming Summit, and you'll be able to get a lot of information independent artists that have showcase slots they got vendor slots they got a lot of things and it's during the las vegas iheart radio festival like it's 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 so it's gonna be so dope so make sure you go follow that september 23rd and 24th on i it's gonna be on the eventbrite be able to get your tickets unlv and the west theater and their host the uh host hotel is going to be at the la quinta right by UNLV. Another thing that we have is Ministers versus Musicians, October 1st, basketball charity case, uh, uh, charity game for um, breast cancer awareness. And um, I'm on Team Minister. Woo, woo. Oh, I'm about to look like Spice Adams out there. Y'all, I'm about to put the goggles on with the little headband. I'm about to be out there doing it with no, zero dude. points. Can you play? Yeah. That's, right. That's what I was about to say. Can you play, though? Can you play? With zero points. We're doing it. We're doing it to help, okay? It's, it's, a, it's a charity to be able to help somebody, okay? It don't matter if I haven't played since high school. All right. It's all about the, the point charity. that we're doing it. Oh. And I'm you know, I'm just saying I'm competitive, too, because, you know, the musicians, they they talking like, oh, we we got this. Y'all ministers ain't got nothing I'm like 
bet. Watch out. October 1st, ministers yeah, versus we will lift you musicians. Up <laughs> Send me prayer and a lot of appointment. Because, uh, oh, right. <laughs> man, <laughs> I'm probably going to be sucking air the whole time. Like, <gasps> but sure you, anoint, you anoint them knees and their back. <laughs> and, hey, like what we heard earlier, with all things, I could do all things through Christ. Through Christ, through Christ, including play basketball. Yeah. Amen. So that being said, God is not limited. All right, He is not limited. Amen. Y'all not gonna keep teasing me. Amen. So what we're gonna do? <laughs> what we're gonna do is, um, first, I want to shout out all of our sports. We're not gonna do a sports update because there's really not much sportsy things coming. We know that the Raiders are coming. Devonte Adams is talking about what he's do- gonna do at the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, we know that the Las Vegas um, Athletics are. Still working on the bid, but we still don't know what's going to happen. Um, And we know that the hockey and the aces, they're doing a lot of great things as well. So with that being, just make sure you go follow all of our media out, um, our media partners uh, with the sports where you go to Boss Barbie or you could just check out the Raiders, Las Vegas Raiders. Go check out the Aces, the Aviators. We're doing there's so much sports that we're becoming a sports mecca. And if you did not know, by 2024, Las Vegas will be having an NBA team coming um, that LeBron James said that he wants to be, I believe, part owner on. So we're still waiting on those updates. So one thing I could just say is God has blessed this city because yes, when man. I moved to this city, we, there was no sports at all. And we got the Golden Knights, which was a blessing to the city. Now we, we've got so many teams who came account from a from a major league soccer team for uh, basketball. We have all kind of things. So definitely go check out all of the sports in Las Vegas because they're doing great things. And don't not forget about the original OGs of sports, UNLV, where they have had a lot of great basketball players and football players come from that school program. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and toss this over to Miss Brittany Marley with her game, This or That. Right. As Pastor Jay said, the name of the game is This or That for our guests. The rules are, there really aren't any rules. I just give you two options and you just choose which one you prefer. So that's pretty much how it goes. As fast as you can. Let's just see how this goes. All right. Are we all playing? Yeah, we can all play. Okay. <laughs> sure. Like um, okay. So we're gonna start off easy. Winter or summer? Oh, summer. Summer. Okay. Winter. Right. <laughs> um, morning or night? Morning. morning. Night. Nighttime. Okay. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Tea. 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 <laughs> you buy yourself. I like coffee too. I like them both. But city or country? Country. City. city. I'm from Alabama. City. I'm from country too. Um, city. All right, city. Um, a live play or a live concert? Live concert. Live play. Live play. Concert. All right. Attend a party or host a party? Attend a party. A host. 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 I'm Probably trying to get host. I'm a host. It. All right. Uh, text or call? Call. Text. text me. Text me. <laughs> call me. You FaceTime me. If we're not cool, the, the generation thing. thing you see, the generation thing happening right now. No, right? That, that was a whole generational question. <laughs> right. Millennials. Call, call, text me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Now, this is you can't do anything to change it, you can't fix it. It's just constant, all right? So, a constant call for a constant runny nose. Huh? Like forever, a cough or a runny nose forever. There's nothing that you can do to stop it. I'll just believe God can oh. heal me. Neither. <laughs> <laughs> I would be both of those. I, I, I mean, if, if if God can help can help Pastor Jay play basketball, y'all not playing. You go. Right. What you ain't gonna do? <laughs> y'all not playing right. Choose <laughs> one. The Lord is not gonna make you sick because you chose I'm not. one. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> That's, oh, okay, can't put it, that's put it out there. It's hard to put it out there, Brittany. <laughs> you might not get it back. Oh, Don't want to All right, let's do something no. easier. Okay. Bad breath forever or funky arms forever. Wow. You can't do anything to do. I don't like either of these. This is rough. This is, why this is a tough call. 
So at this point, is this where it gets fun or is this where just like, <laughs> oh God, show how disgusting it. we are? I All these are it. pushing I people it. away. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with the bad breath and, and just give me some Doberman or something. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. I love the problem solver and prophetess. I love that. Amen. Goodness. <laughs> Y'all are too churchy for me, but we're going to keep it going. Ain't so, churchy. <laughs> I like to be around people. So right. I like to be neither funky or bad breath. That love, part. We're going to host the bad you know breath. You don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> so we try not to offend anybody. Just right. get along in humanity. Okay, these, aren't, these aren't bad. These aren't bad. Are you a sauce on the side person or you want it on, on top? Or do you ask me a sauce on the side? Sauce on top. Side. Okay. Side. 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 Okay, a taco or a burrito? Taco. Burrito. Burrito. California wet burrito. Really? Right. Those are good. That's right, sauce uh, on top. Yeah. I get mine on the side so I can pour it myself. Oh, oh okay. Okay. <laughs> man likes control. Like yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, Netflix or Hulu? Ooh. Netflix or Hulu? Hulu. Oh, Hulu. Hulu. oh, I thought she said necklace Hulu. or hoops. I was like, hoops. I'll take Hulu. Hoops. Um, <laughs> I like Netflix. 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 Hulu. Hulu. Netflix has a lot of good movies. Be, all art. action movies on Hulu. Right. Two more. Art museum or a history museum? Oh, history. 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 Okay, last one. Pastor Day, this is one of yours um, mm -hmm. from one of our guests. Ketchup or ranch? Oh, ketchup. ketchup. Ranch. 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 Y'all go with the ranch. <laughs> that was the last one. Hey, <laughs> hey, man. Man. This was fun, Brittany. Well, thank you. <laughs> hey, man. With that being... It was too churchy. That was, I, was just, I, was just, <laughs> I was just playing. I was just playing. <laughs> no worries. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So first, let's go ahead and, and we're going to go ahead and go into the interview because there's so much stuff that we want to know about you guys is doing because you guys are doing great things in the community and great things in your business. So first off, we got to first know and it's like I'm going to be churchy right now, introducing you to some and reintroducing you to others. <laughs> Um, yes, I like to say, give an honor to God who is yeah. the head of my life. <laughs> Pray for me in these mm -hmm. last and evil days that I'll be all that God has called me to be. Hey. <laughs> I hear my mentor in the heavenly places say, uh, 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 uh. Oh, my. <laughs> so, <That's it. laughs> um, so with that being said, um, where are you guys originally from and where do you live, reside now? Well, we're originally from Michigan, Detroit, Michigan. And we just was born there and lived there all our lives for about 50 years. So now we actually moved. Uh, um, what? No. I mean, I'm sorry. You know, I've been there 50. She's been I've there been there about 25. Years. <laughs> exactly. She's still young. <laughs> I, when, I, when I met her, she was probably about 21 for about two to three years. About five I'm years. like, are you aging? She said, no, I'm still 21. I said, okay. <laughs> So we're originally from Detroit, and now we're so glad to say that we are now residing in North Las Vegas. Oh, sookie dookie now. We got some yes. people that is in the city. Yes. So all my Las Vegas people, I need y'all to, to tap in with them right now. Yes. So with that being said, um, I, I want to be able to first ask, what brought you guys together? Because it, it, it's all I mean, marriage? Yes. Because that's, oh, that's, that's what starts. So we that's what starts you all This is the first time. This is the first time. Yeah. We've done a lot of TV and radio. You're the first person that said, How did y'all wow. meet? Um, well, what had happened was uh, <laughs> I was. You were trying to hook me up with your girlfriend. I did. I tried to hook him up with my girlfriend. I was fresh out of a relationship. I had just in that moment and season of my life had focused. And all I wanted was God and my relationship to give deep and I just wanted God to use me. I wanted to be the next Jackie McCullough. And then I looked over and I seen this fine guy with some green eyes. His hands was up and crying and worshiping God. And I said, dang, he really loved God. He just crying, but he was worshiping. And God says, foolish woman, no, not the heart of man. And I said, wow, he really loved God. God taking up for him. <laughs> So then afterwards, I thought, I said, well, you know what? He's a good guy. 
And um, let me introduce him to my girlfriend. Did y'all go on a date? No, I went to her house. We talked. <laughs> After that, I said, no, I'm leaving. That's okay. No, he's Thank like, you. I'm then I it. went back to her and said, why, why would, would you, you try do that? And hooked me up with her. <laughs> now I'm mad at you. Now, but what I didn't know is his best friend came back to me and said, hey, why would you do that? He likes you. I'm like, yeah. Henry Johnson does not mm -hmm. like me. He's not paying me no attention. And I kept hearing that at church. And I was like, well, maybe this guy do like me. So one day I said, hey, how you doing? And he was like, hey, I'm good. You know, playing that little tough role. I said, okay. I got you. So I started ignoring him. About a month later, he was like, hey, so uh, what's your number? And I said, so it took me Jeez. to ignore you? You in the what? So after that. Well, really, I pray. I, I pray for a wife because I was going through relationships and I said, I really want a wife for me. So I asked God, show me the one for me. And he showed her. Now, of course, you have to choose. God, God's not going to make you choose, but he showed me hate. And I said, no. Because I weighed at the time 290 pounds. I was really, 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 really yeah, big girl. Yeah. And I said, are you sure? Prayed about <laughs> it. <laughs> Prayed about it and sought the Lord. And he didn't move. So then one day I met her at a store. And she, well, I actually met her at college. She was going through some things. And I said, you know what? I'm going to pray for you yeah. because I saw her crying and I'm like, Oh my God, what is wrong? She's crying and I got to do something. So I start fasting for her, yeah. not even dating, fasting for her. And in the middle of the fast, God put a love in me for her. Mm. And I went to reveal that to her one day and said, God showed me what love is while I was fasting for you. And I'm being sarcastic and smart. And I said, well, did he tell you I was your wife? And I was just being funny. And he said, no, he didn't tell me that. But I'm going to tell you after maybe a day or later, I started praying for me. Now, y'all have to remember, we're 20 something years old. Long mm -hmm. story very short, uh, he showed me that, Hen you know, he just showed me Henry in a dis different light as a strong man of God. And that was the one thing that I wanted. I wanted him to be have a, a a strong relationship deep in the word but this is the thing i said lord i don't like him no he's too short so he was too short and i was too fat and I, we was like i don't know how you gonna work this out lord <laughs> and eventually we went on our first date i'm gonna tell y'all we my to hands we went to an amusement park i think when we got back home maybe a day or two later we went to a restaurant and we sat down and ate and I'm going to tell you, my hand to God, that first day, I looked at him and just to hear him talk, he had saved money and his ambition and his dreams. I said, oh my God, I think I love this man on the first day, honestly. I never said anything. No, I, you know, I kept it to myself and I just prayed about it. And then I think we were friends for one year. We dated for one year. We were engaged. For one year, we've been married close to 30 years now. Yeah. And, yeah. and so my um my leadership are pastors, so they have a marriage ministry. And one thing that they say is that a lot of times we think that we get together for our own personal pleasures, but it's not actually that that God joins us in to our ordained, our assigned husband and wife for kingdom purpose for yes. us to actually move in. So to me, seeing you, seeing you two and seeing what you were doing in, in the business realm and, and, you know, hair and wigs and stuff, everything that you're doing, how does, how does that, uh, how do you feel about that statement that God puts you together for a purpose and it's not just just for pleasure, but it's for a kingdom purpose? We God, walk that I through every single on. day. That's fine. Be because, some, you know, we do have our arguments and everything. But what we recognize is God put us together for a reason. As soon as we got married, maybe about six months later, we opened up our business. Yeah. And we opened up a salon. That was six months. That's over 20 something years ago. And it just continued to grow from there. Yeah. But we recognize it was him that really guided us toward each other. And mm. we knew that his choice would be the best choice for us. Exactly. I know a lot of people say, hey, you could just choose, choose, choose this person, choose that person. But I think sometimes God will give you a choice, 
or give you that person and say, you choose this one. And if you choose his choice, I think you will always get the best, best results. And, and I, I think that that's spot on, Prophetess. I think it is purpose driven. I think God, I think every person has been born to be the solution of another man's problem. And I believe we all hope, and that's how we become businessmen and women. Because if you're smart, he says, occupy until I come. So if you do the will of God, the purpose of God that he's preordained for you before the foundations of the earth, you find yourself, even in tough times, you find yourself successful and pleasing him at the end of the day. Exactly. I heard someone say, I think it was Devon Franklin before, that he used to say he didn't want to get to heaven and God show up, show up and say, this is what I had for you. Yes. This is what I planned for you. Yes. But you decided to go your own way. So this is what you got. It was good. It was still good because I'm a faithful God. It was still good. But this yeah. wasn't the best that I had for you. Right. So it's about right. like being obedient, following the Holy Spirit. Like you said, you still have to make the choice, even though yes. God is saying this is for you. You still have to say, okay, God, your will be done. This is Amen. the life yes. you, that you have for me. If this is the husband, the wife, the business, or whatever it is, if this is what you have for me, okay, I got you. I, 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 I never want to get to heaven and say, and God say, this is what I have for you. And I'm really? sitting there no. like, <laughs> really? we pray for cars, we pray for houses, we pray for all kinds of things. Why can't we pray for a spouse? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And let God show it to but us. But to even back up what Brittany just said, you know, the scripture in, in Romans, he says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him, which is your reasonable service, that you may prove. What is the good, mm -hmm. acceptable, perfect will of God? So Not fulfilling the will of God is stages. And some yeah. people stop just that good. Some yeah. people stop at acceptable. But yeah. that mature believer is going to go gun ho for the perfect will. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I have to ask this. One thing that um, telling... I want to encourage somebody because I, I just heard this. So I want to ask this question. So what would you tell a couple that is at have a business mm -hmm. and they're, they're coming up through the ranks. They're just starting off. They fighting over it. They, 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 they making up over it. They trying to figure it out and their marriage out at the same yes. time. What That's the word of was advice? Right what would you say property? I was saying me and him was the same thing, the same way. I had the same question. Oh, so wow. get, get out of my prayer life. Amen. My so, <laughs> um, what would you, no. No, I used to be his NCO in the military. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Calhoun I'm is watching. Right. Officer. <laughs> thank you for your service, both all of you. Henry yes. was in the Navy, the Gulf War. Thank you all for your service. <laughs> well, Shout you out to well. all thank the you. Navy people, aka <laughs> Seamen. <laughs> amen. So with this, that being said, is watching right now. <laughs> yes, amen. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and ask, what would you tell married couples um that are have a business that are, are trying to go through the ranks and understand? Um, how to function together without taking away from each other? That is an excellent question. I think that that's a lot of work. What I did, what we've done is recognize our strengths, recognize our weakness, recognize our callings, recognize our purpose. So um, let me just do a quick introduction of who I am. I'm the COO of La Host Hair and Wigs. Of course, Navy veteran. Uh, I love business, went to school for business, and have my business management degree, but then I have a master's in theology as well. Come so and also I'm a builder and you know everything I touch, I love just making things better. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the things I have that apostolic calling on me. So I recognize my giftings, I recognize my callings and try and stay in my lane where I'm good at. Mm -hmm. And that helps the marriage, that helps your business, as you say, I, as you heard, I said, I'm the COO. So that means this lady, beautiful lady mm -hmm. right here in this hair industry, she the CEO. But I recognize what's in her. Mm -hmm. And I think marriage couples need to recognize what's in them, mm -hmm. know how to flow in their giftings, callings, 
and their lane. Mm -hmm. And when you learn how to balance that, I think it really helps the success of your marriage, your business and things like mm -hmm. that. And being the CEO um, of the company just really to me only meant that. And, 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 and this is the thing, you know, and, and I'm not, you know, uh, I just don't. OK, I'm just going to say it. OK, it, it's kind of like when we had to decide because you got to sign the paper to make your business legal for mm -hmm. United States. So somebody mm -hmm. name had to go there. I had already at that point had 25 years in. My husband had never been in the beauty industry. So, but he has a mastermind when it comes to the business and how it works. So really the CEO position is the visionary. It's the person who had the um, experience to expand the company. So now how we work this is, I like, I agree with everything he said. I recognize there are some things that my husband know how to do. I absolutely don't have a clue. He's the administrator. So I respect that. Mm -hmm. But this is the thing. Our challenge was in the beginning was the CEO would come home or the evangelist. Mm -hmm. I'm the evangelist. He has an apostolic anointing. The evangelist will come home. But don't no mm -hmm. man want no evangelist in his bed. Repent, repent. What you do You know wrong, what I'm saying? Repent. So it was kind of like, sis, I need you to know what hat to put on when. I need that exactly. nightgown on and mm -hmm. I need my wife and me and her can talk and we, you know, have an amazing evening. And so I had to learn to relax. I had to learn that I had nothing to prove to anyone. Yeah. And me being the CEO didn't mean I was his CEO. When I heard the Holy Ghost come to me one day and he said, listen, if I come knock on the door and I ask for the high priest, I'm going to step around you and I'm going to look for Henry. So mm -hmm. now you can keep bucking against a system that I have in mm -hmm. place. It's called mm -hmm. protocol. And so it's an order that God has ordained and he's pleased with. Mm -hmm. And I choose to please him. So I'm okay. The mm -hmm. other thing is I choose to submit to my husband because I trust mm -hmm. him. So I would say sometimes in a marriage, it needs to be healed. If a woman doesn't trust her husband, it's because maybe along the way there was some trust broken. You know, we all got history, we all got past, and we all got little girls and little boys that lives inside of us that got to get healed. And sometimes we got to put them to bed and go say, hey, no, 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 I don't need you no longer. Mm -hmm. Right. You got me here, but the Holy Ghost will take me the rest of the way. So in marriage, you really got to be mature. Marriage is for the strong. Marriage is for those that really is willing to allow iron to sharpen iron. So we've done it. We've learned how to get along. I've learned how to shut up and just relax and be like, oh God, he's getting on my nerve, Jesus. Yeah. And just, you know, do what it do, make it do what it do. And I've learned to listen. <laughs> <laughs> and be patient with and each be other. Really. Patient. So yeah. so sometimes when couples can't do it, it they need to be healed. Yeah. There's other mm -hmm. issues that's pressing, that's bleeding into the business or their intimacy or or whatever that may be. Their ego, yeah. so many other things. Yeah. Yeah. I know it was uh, difficult because once I was in the military and Pastor Jay can tell you, me, me and my husband worked not only both of us was, was in the military, but we was in the same company and the wow. same motor, motor pose. So it was kind of like, I've been with you all day. I know how your day was. And uh, <laughs> so it, it, it left little room for, for its communication. And it actually really affected our communication oh. ourselves. So, so uh, which it, it brought issues and stuff. So my question is, how do you keep communication alive? Because you're constantly, you're in environments where you're constantly working together and I understand where you're saying okay you have to separate that hat and with so in in our situation we tried to keep Sarn Shear and Sarn Shear at work and we had had a rule you know from from the from the time that we left out of the motor pool into the threshold thresh until we got to our house that was our time to talk about oh, okay. work. Besides that anything did not cross over it but it did leave a issue with us because that meant we weren't really talking about anything else mm -hmm. kind of after. So how That's do you balance, balance that and keep that communication going once it are our communication skills working once you're around each other so much, you're constantly working together, inter interacting, but you continue to 
to say, okay, hold on. How do, how do you take off that hat? I guess that's the question. How do you take off the hat from being CEO, COO, from being a, being a, a evangelist to walking in your apostolic anointing, your apostolic calling? Because we can say mm-hmm. we know how to take the hat off, but how mm-hmm. does taking the hat off work? How does that look? What is the ideas there? For me, I had to acknowledge I talk too much. I, I, I talk too much. My husband is quiet. He's just a quiet guy, especially out in front of people. And so if I wanted to, him to talk and, and encourage him to talk, first I had to create a safe atmosphere for him to be vulnerable and for him to talk about what he wanted to talk about. Secondly, I couldn't treat him like my girlfriend because he's a man. And a lot of times women, we just want to, and then she said this and honey, and then she had this whole ugly hat on and I'm like, what in the, and he's like, mm. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Okay. (laughs) She did what? And and pastor, you know, we're not like that. We don't want to hear all that. So then what I did is I learned pull back and not make everything about me because I wanted him one to be safe to talk about whatever it was the funniest thing when we first first got married we had this uh, pack I don't care what it is we have to keep talking our foundation was prayer we ain't trying to be deep I'm telling you the truth this is how we made it Yeah, that's how we in Walmart we were on a 40 day fast and they called us on day 38. So we don't play this. We live no, this. We live this this is our life. 5 a.m. Yeah. is 6 is our prayer time for both of us. Every morning. And we pray together. So this is the thing. In the beginning, we said we got to be able to tell each other the truth. So one day, Henry came home from work. He used to work at four. Oh, God. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to help <laughs> save somebody out there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So anyway, I'm going to just tell you. I mean, because we people. I know what she's going to say. Yeah, you do. You know. So um, Henry's a breast man. I'm like, hey, it's just, that's he. You know, every man has his part. Right. The chicken that he like. Okay. So anyway. <laughs> uh, so anyway, Henry came home and he said, hey. I got to talk to you. I said, oh, my God, what's wrong, honey? He said, I was doing my job, and this lady walked past me. I said, yeah, then what happened? And I think he's about to tell me, you know, they exchanged numbers and whatever the case was. He said, and she, her shirt kind of was leaned over, and I looked, and then I turned my head. And then I, I, just, I said, Henry, is that over? Mm. I said, honey, we'll survive. It's okay, babe. So in other words, I thought it was the cutest thing because he was willing to come home and just say, y'all, we're 20 something years old, remember? Mm -hmm. But he was so honest that I just, you know what? You gotta want the marriage to work. Yeah. I never felt, even though my husband is short, he's five, seven, I'm five, six. So he's still taller than me technically. Yeah. There's nothing out there that I'm missing. If LeBron James or some big tall mountain with a bank full of money try to come talk to me, I'm totally not interested. I've not missed anything. I married the perfect man for Haith Johnson. So because I never thought I was missing out on anything, I was never seeking anything else. And I wanted my biz- I wanted my marriage more than I wanted my business. And so that's why our, our marriage has worked. And our business has survived because of the priority of we don't come between each other. He said, let no man put asunder what God has joined together. And like the Holy Spirit told me one day, that means you too, hey, don't you put asunder this marriage. Yeah, yeah. And so you got to want it. And and whatever that takes, if that's counseling, if that's admitting you was molested when you were a kid. If, if that was, you were the molester when you was the kid. I don't know. Whatever you have to talk about to get you healed, you got to do that. You got to do you that. Just keep talking. Even when you leave work and you've been together all day, every day, because we work together. And all we- day long. Wow. I mean, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we work it is, it is, 13 uh, hours a day. Yeah, oh, my God. There are times when you just want to come home to silence. Yeah. Yes. And there are times when she go to her room and he'll I, stay downstairs stay to watch Hulu. <laughs> yeah, right. But uh there are times when you just need to detox yep. and just debrief and just yep. calm down. Yeah. And then 
you just continue just communicating about it don't it don't have to be the day but it could be about something else yeah. that's why you build up history so there's sometimes we go back and we say man this happened about 15 years ago do you remember this so the goal is to stay there build these memories and you will always have something to talk about other than business other than business so we live our life the trips the vacations yes. you make sure you take those now when we get a win, like when we got the contract with walmart we stopped everything we was at work we said let's go to dinner um when we got in the stores they said okay let's stop let's go to dinner even now we stop to celebrate our wins. Um, and you have to understand he's a prophet. He's an apostle. I'm an evangelist. I'm a teacher. So what that means is like these glasses we have on, everything Henry sees is through the prophetic eyes or through the apostolic eyes. So he's not going to see it like I see it. When I see, I see, so in an argument, we have to learn. I'm seeing it as repent, repent. You was wrong. You was wrong. Mm -hmm. And he was like, no, you can't establish nothing like that, though. See, when you build and you got to. So once we realized we was both crazy, uh, we just learned how to manage each other's craziness. <laughs> I hope this helps. Right. I do want to say something. Amen. Though. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, because I listen to a lot of married women, marriage talks and married women. Um, not to cancel out the married man. I'm a woman. I just want to know the woman's perspective. Um, but I he heard one lady say back to when you said your husband came home and told you that he just glanced at, you know, another yeah. woman's breast. Um, she was saying how you have to allow your spouse to be able to tell you anything like you are supposed you need to provide a safe space. So if that man was thinking about cheating on you. And he came home and said, you know, babe, today was a rough day. I had temptation. I was actually thinking about cheating on you. What do you do in that moment? Do you go off because he thought about it? Or are you grateful that he didn't and he brought it home to you so you can talk about it, about his temptation and what he struggles with? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She was making a point of providing a safe space because, you know, at first, if you feel like your man was wanting to cheat on you, you would kind of want to go off, but you do have to like, reel it in and say he came home he told me you know yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I like i like that because i heard another woman say that and the fact that he came home that yeah. was yeah nice. and Brittany, we recognize there's so many voices that go on in our head yeah. to where the enemy is trying to project thoughts to you that's why okay. the mind is the battlefield mm -hmm. so he's he goes in the form of I did this, so and you think I want this, and you think it is your thought, but it's really his thought. Yeah, so you have to know what thought comes your way, whether it's you, whether it's the enemy, and then whether it's your insecurity. So oh, you gosh. have to understand where that voice is coming from. When you can identify that, that really helps you to be able to talk to your spouse and say, "This was going on in my head." No, that wasn't nothing but the That's devil. That's true. That's what that was. That's true. Or because can I tell me about that time we was at the gas station and I said, Henry, such and such. Uh, I said, it's too cold or something. I'm going to cut it. Well, what do you want to cut it down? Blah, blah, blah. And he just started barking. I'm like, are you OK? What happened? I just went in there and got a cup of ice and came back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he said, I just, you know, but what it was, we was under the pressure because we have to get the store open here in Vegas. So he said, I just, you know, sometimes I just feel like you don't want to. I said, you feel like I don't want to be with you? I said, honey, that is the devil. Yeah, I ain't yeah, even yeah, thought that. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to cook for dinner tonight, <laughs> let alone leave you. Yeah. Anybody got time to be leaving nobody? I... So it was so funny because it was like we exposed the enemy. Yes. This little yeah. weasel done jumped in his thoughts, making him think. So now he barking at me. And instead of me just going, stop yelling at me. You don't talk to me like that. It Absolutely. was, what's going on? And yeah. then he said, this is my thought. I'm like, babe, I'm not thinking that. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Just like I'm sure he knew that you like breasts. And so he just had the lady come by you. <laughs> right. So you know what I do. Yeah. Every now and then I, you know. <laughs> I give him something to look at. <laughs> keep, keep it fresh. Amen. That's why y'all been together for all them long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amen. So one thing I wanted to say is you guys are about to have... If you if you're married, if you're trying to be married, I hope y'all got them gems. I was drip. If you didn't, look yeah. back on the podcast. Amen. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about you guys about to have a grand opening. Like, 
this is really amazing. Like I said in the beginning, this is black excellence, you guys. Um, I believe that it's always great to to congratulate and uplift people that are doing the work, that's doing the great things. Because as a person that, you know, is a builder, you know how those nights are that you went through before you got to this point. Oh, and absolutely. sometimes you feel like you don't get the support and the appreciation for just being like, man, I'm, I'm trying to do this. So I always have been the person that wanted to give the flowers where it's due mm -hmm. to be able to show, you know what, you guys are doing great things. So I wanted to be able to, to highlight this. You guys are having a grand opening in North Las Vegas, August 6th. I'm, I'm, I'm right, right? I'm, I'm yes. right. Oh, absolutely. August 6th, tell Las Vegas what's about to go down. Well, August 6th at 1807 West Craig Street at the Super Walmart Super Center, uh, we're having our uh, launch, finally, our grand opening. We are literally at this point, our life is in danger at Walmart because people have been walking past and watching us build and build and build. And we're finally opening up our hair care upscale accessory store. So we was approached after getting 400 stores of our hair care products being placed in 400 stores, 25 states across the country. We soon after was spotlighted by the CEO of Walmart. Uh, they got in touch with us and said, hey, we want to spotlight your, your story and your journey to Walmart so that you can inspire other entrepreneurs to show them that it is possible because it is absolutely hard to get on the shelves of Walmart, but it's possible. Long story short, they came, they flew in, they sent a film crew, they capture our story. They found out that we not only had great hair care products, but we also had a hair store that gave that I'm sorry, that provided extensions as well as wigs. We were soon um, kind of challenged with COVID and all these things was happening. And we went on a fast because we knew God wanted more. We knew he didn't want us to close, but we didn't know what to do. We went on a 40 day fast day 38. Walmart called us back and said, would you be interested in placing your store inside of Walmart's across the country as a franchise model? That's a no brainer. Yeah. It's like, yes, yes. And when do we sign up? They asked us to pick. I said, Atlanta. We thought maybe Dallas. They told us both say, uh, states was overpopulated or oversaturated. Pick somewhere else. The only place I could think of, my mom lives here. And we had a woman of God maybe six months, I mean, sorry, six years yes. before while we were in Michigan. She, we were closed. She was very consistent. Like, y'all got to open this door. Open it now. We let her in. We was closed. She brought some items. She put her hand on the door. She turned around and said, oh, so the Holy Spirit says your wealth and riches and your millions is in Las Vegas. She turned around and walked out. We never seen her ever again. Mm. So it was just a confirmation that Las Vegas was the ultimate place that God wanted us to launch this store model. So August the 6th, we see all things manifest to God's glory. And we're so excited. The actual ribbon cutting is at one o'clock. And when I tell you, I'm still a lady from Detroit. So I'm little ghetto, ghetto fabulous. We going to let Vegas know we are here. So we have a whole <laughs> possession. We have a whole crowd of customers. We're going to just take over the parking lot with gospel music and just really let them have it. And then we're going to walk to the store, cut the ribbon and let women have at it. Talk about the, you said six years. So in six, for six years, it was prophesied to you yes. about Las Vegas, that your wealth and your, your millions was there. The weight of the weight. Right. Oh, well, at first, we, we I was didn't like, think that was, was like, going to happen. I was like, that wasn't Vegas. No, Ain't nobody more in Vegas. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> says that. Oh, my God. And at the same time, I live in Sin City. No, I'm not going to Sodom. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> my husband was like, girl, we, we going to. Come on, because so, the first time we yes, came, we came we Oh, yeah. Like, I hated no. it the first time because all I saw was the lights and. I it saw more than lot. what I wanted to yeah, see. I said, lot. oh, no, I can't go go to Vegas. And then, but I remember what she, the lady said. And then I said, you know what? 
this is God. Yeah. So that woman spoke and that was God. So I'm going to go ahead and just be obedient according to what God already said six years ago. It was a waiting period, but we didn't know that this was going to be the place until we did a 40 day fast. When yeah. we did that, then all things revealed. Yeah. And it was like, yeah. this is a no brainer. And, and there were times when we felt like we needed to, we were going to close our business in that process. Mm -hmm. So we're going through and so we're saying, God, you said that there was greater. You said mm -hmm. that there was more. You said this. You said that. So we word. held yeah. him to that. And then next thing you know, Vegas came and we knew that this was our opportunity. It's our Canaan. Our it's our, I'm going to tell you the truth. It's our Canaan. Because now, and not saying that we didn't have giants to slay. We are Cain and, uh, uh, Cain and Abel. No. Who are they? No, who man, are they? Joshua. Joshua. And Joshua and Caleb. who they was. I just... <laughs> That's all right. He had a different spirit. He moved differently. It was Joshua and, and, Caleb. and Caleb, meaning that ever since we've been here, it has been nothing but opportunity yes. upon opportunity on an opportunity. And when I tell you this was one of the greatest moves we've ever made, I'm so happy to be here. And I love the house. We're going to have a lot of people at the event as well. Yeah. So we do plan to have the uh, mayor of North Las Vegas there, as well as some other people there for our ribbon cutting. Yeah. So uh, Las Vegas Chambers of Chambers, Chambers going to be Commerce. there. So the ribbon cutting, again, starts at 1 p.m. But if you we're giving away a $500, $250, and a $100 gift card. And if you want to be a part of the procession and get your name entered into that uh, opportunity to win a gift card, so go in there and just lose it, uh, you have to participate in the procession. But we're looking forward to it. It's next Saturday at uh, 1 o'clock. Amen. Amen. I'm still Amen. on you talking about so it went from Sodom to Canaan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all in how you see it. Exactly. Um, you know, goes to what Peter said. He said, God, I don't eat things that are unclean. He said, no, yeah. what I call clean is clean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, God, you like, God likes Vegas. That's what I do know. God's hands is on Vegas. I could definitely agree to you on that because a lot of people that I've, I've ran into said your same testimony, including my own testimony that, I left the Bay Area to come to the desert. Mm. I had wow. perfect weather. And, you know, everybody from my neck of the woods say, we love where we live at. The weather is fine. Why would I go to the middle of the desert where it's dry? Right. So, but God has been shifting a, a move here for years because there's a lot of they, they, there's a lot of transplant. And I feel like, you know, many are called, but few are chosen because some people that have been called to the city didn't follow it exactly what they were supposed to wow. but some were chosen to be a staple to show that god is real so mm -hmm. I, I definitely will say i agree with you on that wholeheartedly and welcome to Thank the you. city it, it, it is it's a different it's a different realm um i could definitely say and but it is worth it god blesses those who come out here and labor i could definitely say that um but one thing that I would want to say um, is one thing that if someone is looking, they can't come to your ribbon cutting. If they can't, you know, come out in um, next Saturday, where can they get um, the products that you guys are going to do it? Do you guys have a website? Do you have somewhere where they can order it like today? Like if they watching you right now and they want to buy something today, where can they get all those things? I think Henry said it best. The app is the best place because not only will you see our hair care products, but you'll also see over five to 600 SKUs of all our products and everything we offer, not only in the Walmart store, but also on our website because some things are exclusive, but on the um, app, it's everything. So all you got to do is go download. Um, I say God is with those that have an iPhone. Uh, and we're praying for the Android holders. <laughs> lay it, lay I, I, it on I come, I come and agree with that. Amen. Oh Lord, lay that, it that on should have been one of the questions. Android, I <laughs> That's true. I, I, I was starting to put it down there, but I felt like they asked that the last time, so mm. I didn't ask. It. 
but definitely the app. Of course, our website, lahosthairandwigs.com. Facebook, Amazon, Amazon. Facebook. yeah, you definitely can go oh, to God, Amazon. So many places. Walmart.com. So we we we're, we're working hard. To you know, God says, if you lift us up, if you lift him up, he will draw all men unto himself. And so that's what we're doing. We promise God, whatever platform, I don't care where it is, whatever platform he places us in, we will glorify his name and let people know if it had not been for God, definitely you would not be talking to Henry and Hate. So all things that God has provided for our name to go out in the wind and just really you know, really just show his glory. So we thank you for this opportunity and being with you all. Amen. And I thank, I thank you. And like I've told many people that's been on our platform, now that you have been on the platform, you are now family. So if anything that you have, we, we make sure to, to promote it. Um, Cause I believe that unity brings change. We could be able to come together and not compete but to uplift each other, we could be able to make a difference in the community and be able to do a greater impact than having mm, all of our individual islands. So one thing that I would want to say is thank you for coming on. You you are here in Las Vegas. I will be at the grand opening next week. Um, so I will be there to make sure to represent uh, Noita Radio and try to get as many people out there as well to come. Uh, hope, I'll, I'll talk to y'all offline, get a flyer so I can throw that, throw that out there on, on the platform. And um, we definitely want to say thank you for coming on, spending time with us. Because one thing I could say is you only got one thing that you can't get back, and that's time. So I appreciate everyone who spends time with us here at Anointed Radio. And with that being said, it's about that time. And what is about that time? It's about that time for you to know something. You can go and download the Anointed Radio app on all social media platforms. Follow us at LV Anointed Radio on all social media platforms and download the Anointed Radio app. And if you want to be a blessing, you could go ahead and be a blessing to Anointed Radio at dollar sign Anointed Radio Network at Cash App and be able to bless the organization. One thing I want to say is I pray for everybody that went to California yesterday for that uh for that lottery because y'all wasted y'all gas for nothing because y'all didn't win. Amen. So uh, go back to work and you got church tomorrow. So that same money that you put out there for lottery tickets, you can put it, put it in your tithes and offering. Amen. So I had to get that disclaimer out there with that being said, you can, if you missed the interview, which was a great interview, I want you to go and get, Follow us on the podcast platform. We're on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. We're in Africa. We're in India. We're in China. We're everywhere. But title, The Black Owned Company by Jay-Z. Because Jay-Z be hating. Be hating. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying until he puts me on there. Yep, it's been four years. <laughs> four years and counting. Hey, you're talking about the pressure while waiting. I'm telling you, I'm gonna put pressure while I'm waiting. Amen. So one thing I want you guys to do is make sure you go and follow us on the podcast platform. You could be able to see this. Spotify has this new feature where you could watch the video and it's a video now. It's not just audio. You can actually watch the whole interview like on YouTube, but on Spotify and we've got many more to come. So make sure that you follow us on all of our platforms, LV Anointed Radio, share us, like us, download the Anointed Radio app and just know that God will provide despite of what people say. So don't worry about keeping up with the Joneses. Don't worry about what the naysayers say because God has the final say so. And with that being said, I just want everybody to know is y'all can go now. Bye. Bye everybody. Bye everybody. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye y'all. Thank you.